Well, this week started with the promised ban on students having cell phones at Houston ISD's Madison High School. And we want to know what you think about it. You can take our survey right now on Fox26Houston.com or the Fox26 News app. It's free to download if you don't have it yet. And we do have Fox26's Tom Ziska live at Madison tonight where students were not shy about expressing their displeasure on this ban. Tom. They were not. This announcement came last week. Students had a whole weekend to get worked up over the issue. The, whether you love it or hate it, the cell phones are really an extension of a young person's life. And in part, that's what the district is trying to address. Instead of heading to class, dozens of students streamed out of Madison High School in protest. On site, a notable police presence to observe and make sure nothing got out of hand. The phone ban, say students, is the latest effort to control them. Natalie Lopez says she's got her parents' support. Did you turn it in at all today? No, sir. I walked away from admin and told them that they had no right to take my phone or anything that belongs to me. <laughs> The school administration says the ban is a reaction to several fights on campus related to cell phone use. Students say it was because social media messaging got out of hand. Taking, a, taking away everybody's phone in the beginning of the day in the morning, but for, for what? Because you can't keep your school under control and you don't have the right amount of security. Um, this is not a protest for cell phones. This is a protest because we are being micromanaged. But this student, who would only identify herself as a senior, says there's more to it and the ban is just the last straw that they can't imagine being without. We're based on technology. What do you want us to do? We literally were on technology for quarantine for I don't know how many years, and how can you strip that away from us? Of course, it's going to be alarming to students. While some students clearly enjoyed the freedom of having their say, others say this needs to be the start of a conversation, not just about cell phones, but about keeping the peace at school. Like, and we are the voices because the teachers can't say much, the parents can't do much, so if we don't make the change, if we can't be the voice then, who will? So HISD already has a no cell phone use policy. You can't even see the devices during the day, at least you're not supposed to. The only exception is during the lunch hour in the cafeteria. That is not the case here at Madison. The school administration cut that down because there were too many videos of fights in the cafeteria. The HISD dis, uh, statement today said that that endangered students and disrupted the academic day. Certainly hard to, a, to argue with that, but student passed along this list of demands that they are going to be giving to the principal, the administration here, probably tomorrow. It's hard to imagine reading this and what the district says where the compromise is anytime soon. In Southwest Houston tonight, Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.